Hi, welcome to Mini Shops How to Sculpt Videos with myself, Elizabeth. Today, we're going to be doing a little quest I got a while ago, which is how to sculpt a peg doll dog. Let's get to it. To begin, you'll need something to protect your tabletop. I just use a plain piece of white paper, a color for your dog, for your dog's collar, for their eyes, for their tongue, for their collar tag, and white for their eyes. You'll also need a potter's needle or a toothpick, a silicone dowel tool, or a pen tip. All right, let's begin. Start by taking the color of your dog and take a small portion, as big as you want the dog's head to be. Warm it up so it doesn't crack in the oven. And then you are going to roll it between your thumb and index finger or on your tabletop or between your palms. All right, once you've made a ball, set that down and take about three times as much. Roll that into a ball as well after warming up, of course. And then once you have it into a ball, start to pinch the edge as you roll it back and forth. We're going to make it into a cone shape. All right, as we do this, start to press at the bottom here, and then you can spin it on the top of your table and then roll it on your table as well. Okay, measure up your dog's face. Make sure it's the size you like. If you want to add more, add more, or if you want to take some away, take it away. Take a toothpick, size it up to your body, split it off so that a little bit is sticking out of the body. Press it ever so slightly into the body. Leave about that much out. Take your head and press that into the toothpick. Swivel it around for a little bit more security and then we'll set that down. Make sure it stands and is stable. And at this point, you can take your silicone dowel tool and about halfway down the face and in the middle, make an indent for one eye and make an indent for another eye, like so. Then we're gonna take a little bit more of this color, about maybe a eighth of what we've taken so far, and we're gonna split it into two, roll them into balls, and then flatten them between your thumb and finger. And we're gonna set that on our dog, one side, flattening again, and then we're gonna set it on this side as well. All right, now that you have that, take a tiny piece, and roll it into an oval, and even pressing motions, press it a little bit like you're making a snake, stop about there, and add it to down below. All right, now we're gonna take our nose color and eye color, take about as much as you took for the lower portion of the mouth, roll it into a ball, and then we're gonna pinch it between our fingers like so, and then you're gonna set that on there See if you like the size. If it's too big, take it off and redo. If it's too small, take it off and add more. Then we're gonna take about half as much clay for the eyes. We're going to split that into two and then roll those into balls. Place them in those indents that you've made. And the bigger the eyes, the more of the cutesy cartoony factor you get. Then take about as much clay as we just took for the tongue. Roll it into a ball, and then you're going to flatten it. I'm going to measure it, set it up here, see if it looks good. That looks pretty good. Take your toothpick or potter's needle, and press in the center of it. Now we're going to take about twice as much as we took for these portions, and we're going to roll them into balls. We're going to take two of those to make the ears. Now your dog may have pointed ears, floppy ears, whatever type of ears you want. I'll show you how to do several types. So once you have the ball, you can either flatten it like this and have your dog have little ears like that. Or you can take that flattened piece and pinch it like so and make them have pointy ears like this. Or you can even take the pointed ears, press in the center and flop them over on themselves like that. Or you can take the flat circular ears and then press them in the center and fold those over too. You can even have one floppy ear and one down ear, one up ear, one floppy ear. It's all up to you. All right, I'm going to have two ears just down. Take your potter's needle if you want to add eyebrows. I'm just gonna do a slight little eyebrow there, eyebrow there, and press, don't pull. Otherwise, you'll get an uneven line. Then I'm gonna take a tiny bit of white clay and kind of make a flicking motion like this get a tiny bit of white clay there and then I'm gonna press it in the corner of my dog's eye like so and then I'm gonna do that again and it may take a few times to get these even but it's okay there we have that portion now to make the dog's collar we're gonna take a little bit of our color color break it off and then roll it into a thin snake like so once you have the snake 
press it between your fingers to flatten it. And then we'll take that, we'll start in the back so you don't see the seam very easily, and we're going to loop it around. Once you get to the back, break that off and then smooth it in. And then to give your dog a little bit of a tag, we'll take another small piece of black clay, roll it so that it's a skinny little snake, and then we're gonna set it on the collar like so. Take your potter's needle or toothpick and pull off any of the excess. And then that excess actually can be helpful because that will be the portion where your tag is attached. So you can just leave that on your thumb. And then we'll take this tag portion, roll it into a ball, and then flatten it. Press it where you want it to be, like so. And then poke a little hole right in the top. It may want to come off with the potter's needle, so press your finger on top of it while you pull the potter's needle out. Take this small portion of black, set it in the hole, and then press it down so that it stays. And if you want to write your name on there, or I'm just gonna do a little heart like that, and you'll see a tiny bit of the clay comes off, so just wipe that off. And then if you want to add some feet for cute factor, start in the center and just press, don't pull, press down on one side and then on the other and then the other side and then to add the paws we can do one two or one two three whatever you feel like all right there's our cutesy little peg doll dog don't forget to sign your name on the bottom and date it so you know when you made it thanks for watching guys hope you had fun bye see you next time